what's uh, B Operation iDroid here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get NDS for iOS, a Nintendo DS emulator on your iDevice. Now I'm sure most of you guys have heard of this emulator before but have not been able to get it because a video surfaced about three weeks ago um, from Big ZWK, a Spanish YouTuber that released a video on NDS for iOS basically explaining what it does and how to get it. But I know a lot of you guys do not speak Spanish and were wondering how to get this. So luckily I speak Spanish and I was able to watch his video and learn how to do it. But in his video he shows you how to do it with a computer. But unlike his video, in my video I'm going to be showing you how to do this without a computer. So the first thing we're going to do is go into Cydia. And once Cydia loads we're going to have to add a source. And that source is going to be the Hack Your iPhone source. So we're going to go into the Manage tab. Then we're going to click on Sources. Top right, Edit. Top left, Add. And we're going to type in repo.hackyouriphone.org. And we're going to add the source. It's going to verify the source. It's going to ask us to add anyway. So we're going to go ahead and click on add anyway. It will begin to update the sources and install the packages from that source onto your Cydia so that you are able to install them. And then finally, we can return to Cydia so that we can get the application that we need to get. And what we'll be getting from this source is Safari Download Manager and AppSync 6.0 Plus. So if you guys already have both of those packages, then you don't need to get them. But for those of you that do not have it, we are going to return to Cydia and then search for those. Once this source finishes adding, so return to Cydia. Now we are going to go into the Hack Your iPhone repo here. And let's scroll down to the S for Safari Download Manager as you can see it's right here let's go with that one we're going to click on install at the top right and then we are going to click on continue queuing because we need to get one more package so now we'll go back to the hack your iPhone repo and now we'll go to the A and look for app sync 6.0 plus. It's going to take a lot of scrolling to get to the app, but should be around here. And here it is App Sync for iOS 6. So let's go ahead and install that at the top right and finally confirm. So now we'll begin to download and install both of the packages. And once it's done, it will ask us to restart our springboard. So once I restart my springboard, I will be back. So once our springboard restarts, we can go back to our home screen and into our Safari browser and now we are going to search for something in the URL and that's going to be what we're I'm typing here so it's going to be www.appaddict.org slash app and we're going to click go and we'll get to a slide to install page so this will be the installation of an application so it's going to ask us to install once you slide click on install and it will begin to install right there as you can see so we don't need to watch that finish installing what we can do is go back to Safari so now we are going to open a new tab and now we are going to search for the actual NDS for iOS download so we're going to search www dot whoops speed 
dot speedy share dot com backslash eight s r and now this is very crucial capital D make sure it's capital or it will not work lowercase d will take you to the wrong URL backslash NDS for iOS dot RAR and now we can click go and it will take us to the download site and as you can see it says download NDS for iOS has five stars and we're gonna click on NDS for iOS and that will begin our download which will not take very long and now as you can see it says NDS for iOS dot RAR and we're going to click on open in iFile then this will take us to iFile where it was downloaded to and now it will ask us either zip viewer or on archiver we're going to click on on archiver to take the NDS for iOS I dot IPA out of the dot RAR file perfect so now once we have the NDS for iOS dot IPA file out we're gonna click on it and it should open in the app addict application that we just got so it will load the app addict application and then we can go about installing the NDS for iOS application alright so now we can swipe towards the right and we're going to click on installer and here we have the NDS for iOS.APA so we're going to click on it and click install this will prepare it and ask you to install it we're going to click install and it will install the NDS for iOS and unfortunately it does not have an icon which is pretty sad but we can work with this anyways when we open the NDS for iOS it will just be blank like this because we don't have any games and now we can go home to find ourselves some games so now we're gonna go back into Safari open another tab or just leave this page here we're gonna go to coolrom.com a very good ROM website and it will automatically direct you to their mobile website and then from here we can search for our Nintendo DS games so now let's scroll down and click on ROM files and then we're going to search for Nintendo DS because that's a system we want to get games on. And finally, it will take us to the N Nintendo DS ROM page where it has a lot of games here for us to download. Um, neatly organized by browse by letter, browse by genre, top 25 downloaded, and top 25 rated. Now, disclaimer, I have tested this out. Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl do not work. They start and they run at half speed but when you get to a certain point in the game very early when you pick your first starter Pokemon and battle the Starly the Starly will faint and the game will freeze so that will make you unable to continue with the game so don't try Pokemon Diamond or Pearl because you'll just be disappointed though I can recommend other games like Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2008 which runs pretty decent on NDS for iOS now remember this application is still in beta, meaning that it's not going to run like a regular Nintendo DS, but at least it's something for progress to be worked on the iOS platform. So now, once we get to the page, we're going to scroll down and click download now. And this will start our download, and we're going to click download, and make sure you know where your destination is. I'm going to change mine to VAR Mobile Media and let's go into actually var mobile documents let's choose that and download and now it will begin the download right here and I will be back when it is done okay so when the download is complete you should have a screen like this and it will show that the download is done of whichever ROM you downloaded or if you downloaded Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2008 like I did your screen should look like this anyways now we can go home and into iFile. Now when we get to our documents where we got the game make sure you pull down and refresh and that's where we'll see our .zip file. So now we're going to click on our .zip file and click on an archiver and this will take the files out of the .zip file which includes the .nds file which NDS for iOS needs to 
play the games. Now, NDS for iOS only plays .NDS files. So when you get a game, make sure you extract it and find the .NDS file within it. Anyways, this unarchiver should take only two minutes, but I'll be back when I'm up oh, it finished. All right, so when it's done, you should get finished with result code zero, and then we can click done at the top right. Now, we're going to click on edit at the top right. Click on our Yu-Gi-Oh! Championship World um, Championship 2008.nds file or the .nds file that you got. Then, on the bottom right, click on the clipboard and we're going to click copy. Now, done at the top right. And let's go back to VAR Mobile by clicking the house at the bottom. Now, we're going to go into applications and you'll see here a ton of folders if you have a ton of apps or a very little amount of folders if you have a small amount of apps anyways these folders do not have names but you need to find the NDS for iOS folder so when you click on a folder it will have the name of the application so as you can see this is webviewservice.app then we just need to find the NDS for iOS application and here it is. So as you can see, here's a folder that says NDS for iOS dot app. Now, when we get to this screen, we're going to click on Documents. And at the top right, click Edit. Bottom right, click on the clipboard and Paste. And this will paste our file that we copied into this directory. Now, finding the NDS for iOS dot application folder is tricky. But if you bought iFile, you can just search it in the search engine. So anyways, remember it's VAR Mobile Applications and then find the folder that has NDS for iOS dot app inside it. Anyways, now we can go home and into our NDS for iOS application. But before we go in, we have to make sure that we clear it from the multitasking bar. If it's open or if it's not there, then we can just go straight. All right, so I got a, I got out of display recorder and I started recording with my iPad so you guys can see exactly how NDS for iOS runs. Um, using display recorder causes some lag in the emulation, so that's why I decided to record externally using my iPad. Anyways, this is how the NDS for iOS application looks when you play a game. Um, again, it does not run games at full speed, and it's a good emulator. The design is pretty well, except for the fact that the D-pad the start and select and the command buttons are on the middle of the top screen so if you're using those while you're playing you're kind of covering your own view but they did this so that you can use the bottom screen here as the touch screen so overall the emulator is very new just starting out being as it has these flaws as well as you can't save with save states you can save in game but there are no save states to just save wherever you want. Um, beware that when you're playing, if you click this exit button, it will exit you out and you'll have to start from like the beginning of the game like you're loading up a new game. So if you did not save, it won't bring you back to this spot where you're at. Um, something cool about this application is that it multitasks. So if I go home and I click it again, it's still gonna be where you last left off. So that's, I guess, a good thing about this simulator. Anyways, um, most games do not run exceptionally well on this, but 2D games run very well. For example, this game runs decent on NDS for iOS, but other games that run well are Pokemon, Mystery Dungeon, Blue Rescue Team, and Red Rescue Team, as well as Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, and Yoshi's Island. Just think of any game that has 2D graphics and came out at around the same time that the Nintendo DS originally came out. Those games will run good on this emulator right here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a long one, but I wanted to make sure that I could show you guys how to get this without making any mistakes. Anyways, my next video will be how to get PSP ROMs on your PPSS PP application. I know you guys have been waiting for that one. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe so that you're notified when that video comes out. And check out some of my other videos. Thanks for clicking that screen subscribe button and welcome to the operation.